everyone. Thanks for joining me again this week. I'm Deb with Blue Twig Studio. I'm coming to you from my home today because it's a snowy, blustery, wintry day out there and I can't get into the shop. Um, we're working on our Notes to Self journal. I'm sharing tips and tricks and techniques every week for products you may have in your studio. Um, this week we are working with watercolor pencils. And I'm going to be playing with the Statler Karat Aquarelle. There are a lot of watercolor pencils out there. Pretty much every major brand has got a watercolor pencil in their arsenal. But I'm using the Statler ones today. I'm just going to show you a couple of tricks. So, I have um, stamped an image in my journal. This is done with a stays on ink pad. You want to make sure you're using a waterproof ink pad if you're stamping. If you're drawing, you need to use a waterproof pen such as the uh, pit markers, the IdentiPen, or the Micron pens. All of these are waterproof um, ink so that they will work really well with the watercolor pencils. So part of the fun with the watercolor pencils is that you can get a watercolor effect without actually using a watercolor paint and a brush. So I'm just going to color in my stamped image. You can get in very nicely into some small areas because you're using a pencil rather than a wet brush. And you can go with several colors so you can blend nicely. I'm just picking three different colors here so you can see just coloring, coloring and I can overlap a little bit if I want to as well because right now it's just a colored pencil so I can use it just like a colored pencil. Then I'm going to get a paintbrush and just dip it in my water with just a tiny bit of water. And I'm going to use my paintbrush to start blending my colors. So you see that I can just add just the tiniest bit of water, blend my colors, and I can pull those colors out a little bit. And create this nice watercolor effect. Very blended, very nicely done, but without the mess of watercolors when you're not familiar with them. So that's today's tip and technique. Um, I hope you will play with your own watercolor pencils and have a little fun experimenting with them. Um, since I'm not at the shop, I don't have my big bin of fun prompts. So I did write a few prompts down on some pages. Um, so I'm just going to grab one out of here so it's still random. Let's see what we have here. Add a three-dimensional object to your page. So just pull something out of your studio that's three-dimensional. Um, a button, a gear, a, a wood embellishment, fibers, whatever you might have, and attach it to your page somehow. So, remember to join our Facebook group, BTS Notes to Self and share what you're working on in your own journal, okay? Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next week.